2 litre petrol engine, uh, spare wheel, it's brand new, um, it's got two batteries, that's the one that's used to uh, run the ignition system on the van, uh, and that's the ledger battery that you can use for running your lights and uh, various other things inside the van without risking uh, flattening your, your main battery. Uh, oh yeah, it's brand new, that only fits that last week. Um, I'll just fire it up. Okay, quick look around the outside of it then. sensors on the side and then uh, you can get in there but that's where the fresh water goes uh, it's got a fresh water tank on board it's got a wastewater tank as well uh, and this is where the um, if you've got electrical hookup that's where you plug that in um, right, that's that so let's go and have a little look inside CD player um, and radio. It plays MP3s as well. It's occasionally a bit uh, temperamental, that but that works okay. Um, box. A little bit of space in there. A little bit of space at the sides. Um, clock. Not too much else to say. Five uh, gear gearbox. You can see that eight to seven thousand miles on the clock. Um, Okay, this this chair swivels around. Swivels around anyway. Um, then you've got so those two seats are obviously belted. Then there's two more seats here that are belted, uh, but that one's shown made up. Um, you can see that both of these extend into benches just by these side bits popping out. Uh, and there's two mounting points for tables. So you can see on the pictures there's a big table and a small table. And there's a little pole that just slots in those, which is, which is here. Which basically slots in like that. And then the table drops on the top. Uh, we have guards. Yeah, that's where, the, so that's, that's where the small table's stored. And then the big table stored down the back there. There's a fire extinguisher in there as well. Never needed that, fortunately. Uh, then we've got, so the heating is blown air heating, so it runs off the gas and it comes out down here. Got, uh, if we just come across to this, oh yeah, so up the top there, um, this drops down, and you've got uh, obviously a TV aerial, and then there are two more panels that slot in place in here so that you uh, 
make a bed up. It's, it's pretty, pretty much for children, that bed. We've never used it. I think it's 75 kilograms maximum. Storage. Yeah, it's really good for storing uh, various things, putting your seats in there and your table and that kind of thing. Um, you've got, there's quite a few lights you'll notice. These all run off the leisure battery. Um, so this is control panel here for turning your leisure battery on and off. So to hit that switch there, that's basically the leisure battery on. Um, next to it's the water pump. So get that running. Basically runs until it gets up to pressure and then it stops. Uh, and you've got uh, voltage output, but we've never used that before. Um, turn that off. And you've got a water tester, so you can see how much water you've got in your fresh water tank. Uh, in here, there is a, a zig charger. So when you're on electrical hookup, you can use that to charge your leisure battery and keep it topped up. You can see all the original plates and <laughs> screws in there, all the um, glasses, all, they're all in place in there. This is a really good cover for keeping everything safe and stopping everything rattling around. Uh, there are, I think it's two 240 um, sockets. There's one there and there's another one. Let's do that. Down there. Oh yeah, it's just there. So when you're on uh, electrical hookup, you can run uh, all your 240 stuff from there. Okay. Let's run through this bit then. So here we've got your sink. You've got hot and cold running water. Um, hot water comes from. You've got this uh, gas boiler there. Okay, you've got a gas heater. Um, so I'll just. Turn the pump on. Pretty soon, I've roasted a lot of water coming out of here. Well, that was pushed from the tank on my Okay, so that's your sink. Uh, so that's basically going down into the grey water tank underneath. And that's the gas heater. Uh, the gas bottles are down here. So there's two 3.9 kilogram gas bottles, so you can have a uh, one that's actually connected to the other one's a spare one. You can swap them over when it starts to get low. So plenty, plenty of gas there, and those gas bottles are included. One of, one of them's got some gas in, I'm not sure how much. Uh, cooking. So we've got two gas hobs. Um, and there's a grill. There's a little bit of webbing in here to stop the grill moving around when you when you're driving. Uh, not much to say about that really. Looks pretty nicely. Um, various cupboards. Great for putting your wine in. Very nice. Another one there. All the gas taps. Uh, more storage. That's where your electrical point is for your uh, fuse box. Storage underneath your sink for bags and sponges, that kind of thing. So, fridge. So it's a three-way fridge. Uh, yeah, sorry, no, sorry. Let's see where you got. Like forks and the like go. Okay. Fridge is three-way, so you can either run it off the gas um, you can run it off when you're on 240 hookup, you can run it on the 240 hookup and when you're driving along it will run off the um, leisure battery. Um, so it won't run off the, the battery unless the engine's running because otherwise it just flattens the battery. So you've got three ways of keeping things cool. So it's not a bad size actually, you can get quite a bit in there and there's a, a little freezer unit so you can get your frozen things in there, such as they fit in. Okay, and bathroom. Oh, look in there. So you've got, it's basically a wet room. So you've got a little cupboard at the top there. Um, that's the loo at the bottom. And that goes down into the cassette that we saw earlier on. And it's got a flush point on it. Down sink. So again, you've got hot and cold water in there, and you've got a, a shower as well. Let's just have a look at the shower. There's a 
shower. That's pretty pretty good shower as well. And that basically just drains straight outside. And the shower curtain. Um, up here we've got a carbon monoxide and a fire alarm. Um, and there are a couple of uh, vents. Uh, you've got one here and there's another one in the, in the roof in there as well. So you can get some fresh air in the place. Uh, I think that is about it. That's the lot. So thank you very much. Oh yeah, there's one last thing. So the, all the windows, apart from the ones in the cab area, are double glazed. Um, actually, the ones on the back aren't. So basically, these two windows are double glazed. Perfect. This one's got a, um, a crack in it. Um, it's not been an issue for us because, as I say, they're, they're both double glazed, so it doesn't actually uh, go go outside. But just so so you're aware, there is a crack in that window. Um, and then there's a couple of other little windows at the top here as well. It's good for getting some fresh air into the into the van. Uh, I think the only other thing is the not showing the awning. It'll be worth, yeah. So there's an awning outside that winds out. Uh, the winder for it here. So basically we've got a wind out awning, and that's really good when you sat in the roasting sun. You can sit, sit underneath that and keep yourself nice and cool. And that is the lot.